Hi there, Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who is Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding? Um, just an announcement, if you want to join my exclusive club, that is a private group where I share value-added uh, videos, articles, and educational material, including you'll be put in my mailing list. Send me an email. My email is mentioned down below. So the question I was asked is, what are the uh, 10 changes that I have uh, inculcated or experienced in myself in the last 10 years? Uh, or this question was also rephrased as, what would I... Uh, what advice would I give my younger self or top 10 pieces of advice? So I've decided to answer this question. So number one, it's um, before I used to give lots of value to reading books. Now I give a lot more value to applying what I read the book. So before I used to always say, oh, I read uh, you know three books this week or five books or one book per day and all that. Today, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many books I read. I can read one book every single day for the next one year or and brag about it. It doesn't make any difference because knowledge is not power. Application of knowledge is power. So today I focus more into applying what I read rather than just uh, running a race of reading the book. The second one is, uh, second change is, before I was very excited and very hopeful about uh, the future, about promises, like people would say, you know, we are going to work together and we'll earn, you know, lots of money or we'll have this partnership or I'll make you famous. So I used to fall for all these words, these hopes, promises and, believe and have faith and you know of great things today it's more like um, i focus on one day at a time one step at a time so if anyone talks wow big things you know i'd say do it and show it even i tell my wife don't say you love me do it and show it that's about it um so no more theory it's all practical number three is um i used to bitch about a lot of people i used to bitch about complain okay this guy that guy even today like i still catch myself bitching about okay thai lopez is uh, playing uh, the game or Grant Cardone is giving all uh, you know bullshit advice um, Russell Brunson is a hardcore marketer Jay Shetty is giving all sweet talk Deepak Chopra is talking woo-woo stuff mentor box is crap the fact of the matter is whether it's Neil Patel Ty Lopez Grant Cardone Russell Brunson whomsoever end of the day they are making millions they are making millions okay I need to focus on what I am doing I can bitch about all I want but at the end of the day, my bank balance remains the same. So I've stopped bitching about other people. Although I do catch myself uh, once a uh, while, always doing that bad habit. But then I've learned to focus more into stop talking about others, focus on my own shit. Number four is my relationship with people is now very, very selective. Before I loved making friends, wanted to be popular with my relatives, with my, you know, have more friends. The girls were, whew, it was like air to breathe. It's like uh, that was the meaning to my life, having girls. Today, relationships are very well defined, very few. I prefer to have fewer people. Um, girls, keep away. I don't want to get to know any girls, nothing unhappy with my wife. Um, and friendship is, you have money, you want my service, you're my friend. You don't pay me money, you're just a high buy, that's about it. So a sweet talk doesn't help me. Yes, there are people on Facebook and all that who appreciate my work, I appreciate them also, but keep a distance. Um, number five, my relationship with money. Before, when I used to get money, I used to love spending. I would spend like no one else's business. Uh, I'll tell you, I've even spent up to $2,000 on one single day on perfumes itself because I wanted to impress females in my 20s. Today, money is more about savings. Yes, live life to the fullest, but be intelligent with the savings. Where it comes to clothes, slippers, and all, I buy the simplest, like, you know, my shirt is just hardly a one dollar, two dollars. Uh, however, my education or my technology that I work with is world class. So uh, I do spend. It's not that I don't, but my relationship with money is I value every dollar that I get, and I intelligently say that's why I migrated to Thailand, where I live a better life than I was staying in Dubai, and I'm paying I think uh, eighty percent less. So for twenty percent of the cost. I'm living the 100% of what I live in Dubai. So relationship with money has changed. That influences all the areas. Number six is, before I would love to argue, debate, show off, fight with the world. I'm just oozing energy to debate with anyone, fight with anyone, argue with anyone. I love to do that. And I would love, you know, poking people and initiating, uh, you know, lots of uh, fights, arguments, you know, mental warfare. Now it's more like, I mind my own business. You can talk shit about me. You can 
bad mouth me, whatever you can say, ah, you know, thank you very much, whatever, you're right, I'm wrong, finish, that's it. Because these debates, especially with religious people or people who don't agree with my point of view, doesn't feed me, doesn't increase my bank balance. It's just a waste of time, so I don't. Number seven is I take a lot more personal responsibility. Market can be bad, uh, there can be a disaster, there can be, uh, a, you know, a cheater, someone has cheated me. Before I used to, oh God, why God, please give me the card. Now, now I was like, fuck you, fuck off. I just focus on getting a solution and that's all. So I take personal responsibility. Anything can happen, market or anything, I need to sort it out. Number eight is using logic and common sense. Before I used to believe in God and superstition and put lucky bands and lucky numbers and pray to the statues and pray to the images and pray to God in the sky and uh, in the toilets. I remember when I was to compete for all these public speaking competitions in the toilet, I was, Jesus, please, Jesus, please, Jesus, and all that bullshit. Um, well, faith, hope was supposed to be a virtue. Today's, you know, once you gain common sense, once you start using your brains, realize this is all man-made, it's all bullshit, you need to take charge. And today, I work with my hands, produce the results, don't give anyone credit except myself. So if something fucks up, it's my problem, if something goes well, it's my uh, blessing. You know? So that's about it. Using common sense logic. Anyone tells me anything, I'll say fine, prove it, whatever. Number nine, time is money. It's the most valuable resource. I'm not getting younger. If I waste my time today, I'll not get it tomorrow. So for me, friends, relatives, uh, people, fans, whomsoever wants to meet me, you pay me, you meet me. Don't pay me, don't meet me. Because my time is money. I value the time that I spend for work, value the time I spend for games, value the time I spend for relationships or for, you know, entertainment, whatever. Time is money, most valuable resource. And last but not the least, it's... Uh, the, the, the biggest change is I spend more time reflecting, reflecting and having a kind of a bird's eye view, an eagle's eye view, which direction am I headed? Because sometimes you can be, you know, racing down the road thinking you're headed in the right direction, maybe you're going the wrong direction. But if you have a bird's eye view, you know the map, you know where you're headed, you know, maybe this way looks straight and it's, you know, completely a flat road, but it may be taking you to the wrong direction. So I have... A bird's eye view and how do I get that is by meditation, by self-reflection, by asking myself questions and uh, by slowing down sometimes. It's not just about speed. This I never had when I was young. So these are the 10 things. I put um, the I put the points down below in the, uh, in the description so you can see those points. So these are the 10 changes I made myself in the last 10 years. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't like it, thumbs down. I read your comments always. This is me signing off for now. Take care.